What's up guys, Dr. Greg here back with another episode of Races Explained. Thank you to all of you who have subscribed to this channel so far. Hope to keep bringing you guys some great content. And today's topic is another one that a lot of you have asked about, and that is what are coil springs. So let's go. So there's three different types of coil springs that we're gonna be talking about today. There's an open coil spring, a closed coil spring, and a passive spring. So let's look a little bit closer and see what each one of these do. So these are the three different types of springs and they come in these spools. So let's start off with the first one I talked about, which are open coil springs. So the purpose of an open coil spring is that it can be used to make space. They start off open and we'll compress them and put them between the teeth, which will make room. So here's a really zoomed in version of what an open coil spring looks like. And as you can imagine, it's kind of like the clicky part of a pencil. When you squeeze on it, it'll actually compress and want to return to its original shape. So what we did is we cut a piece of open coil spring that you can see here. That's a little bit larger than the space between this tooth and this tooth. And what we're gonna do is compress it so that it fits between these two teeth. So watch as we compress this spring. See how it's compressed? And the spring's gonna to wanna to return to its shape. So what we'll do is tie in this tooth that and over time this spring in an effort to return to its original shape will push this tooth forward and this tooth back making space between these two teeth. So next let's talk about a closed coil spring. It's exactly the opposite of an open coil spring. So an open coil spring would be squeezed shut to make space whereas a closed coil spring will be stretched to close space. So let's imagine in this case that this tooth was extracted and we were trying to close the space by bringing your canine tooth backwards. What we could use is a closed coil spring. The closed coil spring would attach to your molar tooth and be stretched out just like a power chain to your canine tooth. So what this spring wants to do is return to its original shape which is this long. But since we're stretching it out and attaching it to your tooth, it'll pull this tooth backwards and pull this tooth forward to close the space of this missing tooth. So last but not least is the passive coil spring. The passive coil spring is very similar to your closed coil spring, whereas you can stretch it. But what it's used for is to maintain space. So let's return to this example and remember that this tooth is missing. So let's say instead of trying to close the space, we want to make, get all your other teeth lined up and keep this space open for a future implant in that spot. What we could do is use a passive coil spring that would fit in between here and maintain that space. It doesn't create space, nor does it close space. It just holds the space. And that's why it has its name as a passive coil spring. So let's try putting this in and showing you how it looks. As you can see, the passive coil spring just holds that space. So that's pretty much it. Those are the three main types of coil springs that we have. We have an open coil spring to make space, a closed coil spring to close space, and a passive coil spring to hold the space that already exists. So please, if you have any questions about coil springs, leave them in the comments below. Give it a thumbs up if you like it, and make sure to subscribe so that you can stay to date with all of these videos. I will see you next time. For now, Dr. Greg, out.